Hey friends, it's Emily from burlapkitchen.com where I'm all about simplicity. Today we're gonna be making a fun Rudolph using a Dollar Tree wood star cutout. So they normally have these wood cutouts at, um, I wanna say 4th of July and Christmas. So make sure when you see them to grab a few, they're awesome to craft with. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint this star with some brown acrylic paint. I'm just using the apple barrel paint from Walmart that I had on hand, any brown will do. And you're gonna wanna paint both the front and the back of the star. Make sure it's dry before we move on. You can see now I'm painting the back real quick. And then I'm gonna take some red apple barrel paint and I am going to paint the, no the nose and I'm using just one of those little um, half beads for that. I'm gonna give this a really quick sand on the front and the back, just a real rough sand. And I'm gonna do the same thing here with the nose. So then I'm gonna set them aside and I'm gonna use um, the shirt that I had. It's from Goodwill, so if you ever see men's uh, shirts at Goodwill that are in colors that you like, save them. They're awesome for crafting and they make really awesome hats for your snowman, your Santa. So make sure to grab a few of those if you see them. So I'm just folding this up to make a little hat. And everyone asks me for measurements. I literally never measure anything. I just kind of play it by ear and just um, do it as I go. <laughs> so you can see I'm just trimming down. And then I just save those extra pieces for other crafts. So then I'm, I want to have like a little pointy hat on this guy. So I'm just going to bring everything up. Now I, I did stuff... Um, a Walmart plastic bag in here, but I'm gonna take that out in a minute. I normally do that for volume, but after looking at it, I felt like it was too much. So I did end up taking that out and I actually ended up adding a smaller bell too. You'll see here in a minute. So I'm just tying that at the bottom, but like I said, we'll do that again here in a minute. So I'm just gonna cinch that at the bottom and tie it with some twine and then add a little rusty bell there. So after I do that, then I'm gonna take some white paint and I'm practicing making the eyes. Um, my friend told me the eyes should have been a little bigger, but I didn't wanna push it. I, I'm not the greatest with painting, so that was the best I could do. Then I'm gonna take some black and put it right in the center. I'm just using the back of paint brushes for this. Those little paint pouncers work great too. And as you can see here, like I said earlier, I just took that bag out because it was too much. And then I, re I thought that needed trimmed down just a little bit and I thought it needed a smaller bell. So I'm just gonna tie, I'm using just some other twine. This was colored twine, but it's gonna get covered up anyways. It doesn't matter, just as long as it's tied there. So I'm just gonna trim that and then I'm gonna add that other bell that's a little bit smaller. I thought the bigger bell just took away from the nose. Then I'm gonna add this little pine pick. This is just gonna act as his horns. And then I'm gonna come in with some white paint to add a little dimension. This is my Bob Ross moment. <laughs> I'm not great at painting, so, um, so I wanted to try that. I seen other people do it and I wanted to give it a try. I thought it turned out all right. I'm just gonna sand over it a little bit and then I'm gonna take a little bit of Mod Podge. You could completely skip this step if you want. I feel like, and then I'm gonna add some glitter. It looks better in person than my photo actually came out. So um, so just know that if you wanna add glitter, uh, what it looked like there before if you don't if you don't wanna add it, if that made sense. <laughs> so I thought it needed a little something extra, so I went ahead and add a little scarf to it at the bottom. Um, I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted that to lay, so I just kinda played around with it until I got it to look the way that I wanted it to look. And then that is it, guys. You have a super fun little Rudolph to sit around, to sit on your shelf, uh, maybe even stuff in your tree. So thank you for joining me. For more fun ideas just like this one, please visit burlapkitchen.com. Thank you.